yeah and a very happy weekend to you guys welcome back to don't graphics design in today's tutorial i will be showing you how to design a birthday flyer with pixel app or how you can design a birthday flyer on pixel app using your smartphone without wasting much of your time let's get started but before we do kindly subscribe to the channel and like this video okay so uh, i will be showing you right now how to design this awesome birthday flyer with pixel app okay so uh here we are with our default interface subscribe to the channel thank you so much and let me know where you are watching from uh today so once you delete your default text you want now to go to your image size which is of course very important on these three dots you are going to change the image size to yeah have a kind of an a4 paper format uh, 1022 by 1280 is the size dimension we are using so now click on ok and you are good to go so once you have this you can change the background color to black um, i'll tell you why okay i will tell you why shortly and after doing this uh just go and import we are importing this background right so uh, yeah we just make it three by four then we increase it three by four means the aspect ratio the aspect ratio i'm using is three by four now size is up to fit your background size and uh go to color filters all right but before we go to color filters let's just go let's do it um let's alter this to say 14 or 15 <coughs> sorry about this guys then you now lock it up all right just lock it up now once you've achieved this um <clears throat> we are going to start bringing in the images for the design right but before bringing the images let's just bring in this other uh, lens flare okay uh, this prismatic effect i downloaded it from pinterest so you can bring it here and also size it up so after sizing it up you can now reduce the opacity of this just so it shows just later on our background leave it to 10 percent and lock it up so once you have this bring in the image of your birthday celebrant so first of all we're going to bring this one which is going to bring the image of this uh this one is this shot is um to focus so this particular image i got it from tms uh, photography shout out to them big shout out to them uh you can follow them on pinterest i got this one from them no infringement of copyright intended okay so now position this one to the middle lock it up and uh, let's bring in a second image which is a sub image i just love how the posture or the pose of these images looks like it's giving just premium vibes right okay so we're going to set this one aside like this uh i think we can even send these images up a little okay yeah so this is fine and uh, after doing this since we notice that the background or the the image has a black color in the dress and the in the lady in question has uh, the skin tone is vibrant so we decided to do two things here number one the background color is reflecting or is in alignment or in agreement with the skin tone of the lady which is perfect and now we're going to bring some dark fading here to reflect or to also agree with the image of the dress the lady is wearing or the the color of the dress the lady is wearing so we're quickly going to do that by going to our draw to um like i always show you how to create your uh, gradient here or your shadows you can just tap your finger on the screen and then you have this with you guys okay so yeah now that we have this we are just going to neatly size it up okay size it up then bring it down here now after bringing it down you want to send it to the back of the first image so it should be in between the first and the second images very good so once you've done that you have seen that you can see that the image of the lady is now blended to the background which is something that we like all right so i'm going to step this down a bit and uh now 
this image looks hanging which is not making sense so i have some wall or some floor background i am going to bring i downloaded this also from pinterest and worked it out on my uh, pixel on my pixart okay i use a raising option on pixar to do this so i'm quickly going to send this now to the back of this image so it looks as though the person is standing on this awesome photo studio background can you see that very good so i uh, forgot to lock this image let's increase it a bit in size and uh oh let's see yeah so that's it now uh, because the image looks hanging i am going to repeat the same thing so go just copy this okay copy this and reduce it in size okay we are going to do some light works here reduce this in size and stretch this out this way and rotate it and uh, position it here so we can increase it a bit position it here okay then go back to your layer and send it to the back of this lady okay uh stretch it out a bit let's see that okay you can see that we have some shadow so you can now go and reduce the opacity okay a bit so that it looks real all right now make a copy still and stretch this out stretch this out and send it to the back also okay so you can see that as well we now have a, a shadow adjusted to all of this and if you look very well here i mean this uh, section let me just show you the floor image is not blending so we are going to make a copy of this okay and uh, bring it here so i'm going to increase the opacity completely so that it blends with our background okay so good now that we have this um we can even increase the size of the floor so we can increase the size of our floor all these things are some light tiny adjustments that you yourself can be doing as you design all right so just stretch this out okay so we have something like this um yes so this is fine okay good so now everything is well in place now um i think this other shadow here is too much let's reduce the opacity a bit okay to let's say 60 percent good so now that you have all of this uh, the next thing we're going to do is to go to our text option but then let's just lock everything up kindly subscribe to the channel especially if you want to understand and let me know where you're watching from thank you so much so i'm going to go to my text and write happy belated birthday happy belated birthday make this all in caps and bring it here so i'm going to use a particular font monticerat for this text uh monticerat medium okay reduce this in size and use your media alignment very important to use media alignment here then go to your text again and write the name of the person so her name is vivian but i'm just going to write that as v then i go to my font and i'm using a font called amsterdam 2 font amsterdam 2 font okay so go to your paddle lane and paddle out the text to uh make the hidden part of the text show or visible enough so i have this one here and um i'm going to write this right so let's reduce it a bit in size bring it here and then we can also bring this guy here happy birthday so i'm going to copy her name and still write vivian so i'm going to complete vivian
all right then after writing vivian her other name is daniel so i will lock this one and just make a copy of this then i write daniela daniela those uh, these are just for illustrations all right daniela and this should be in tabs by the way then you bring it down here and after bringing it down here go to your font and let's check for this font called the calling monday font um yeah let's see how it looks so position it neatly like this we can even space it out huh? yeah so that it meets up with uh, the vivian i want them to end along the same um, alignment they should follow the same alignment so i have happy belated birthday vivian daniela i guess she's from france <laughs> just kidding anyways so i am going to copy this text once again and write a birthday wish so for the birthday which uh for the sake of not making this video too long i saved it on my whatsapp so i'm just going to copy it from there okay so here with me now is the birthday wish which i'm going to bring it into our design um i'm just going to make it in capital letters okay then we stretch this out and after doing that go to your font again the phone i'm using for this is roxford sans light for the text and i'm going to reduce the size of our image but then i'm going to let's say let's go to alignment and align everything to the right then we bring it here and stretch it out okay so typography in design is uh, a very beautiful graphic design element it can equally help to bring in some uh, beauty and aesthetics to your design work that is why i don't always play with my typography as a principle and an element of graphic designing now that i've have this i will equally proceed to copy the belated birthday font again since i want to replicate to maintain uh the same font here and for this uh, the date i use roman numerals which of course i stored on my whatsapp so i'm still going to bring it from there okay so this is for those of you who took your roman numeral classes in primary school series this is the 29th of october 2025 written in roman numeral so the date of the birthday is this one here okay so we can even break it into two beautiful lines and uh, leave, it, leave it just like that after doing that you can as well reduce the line spacing between that uh, that text okay so we have this and for some obvious reasons i would love to bring in some destructive elements here so i did blurt some chessboard um, image using my uh, photo room application okay so i would love to bring that here i will just rotate this so i can get a good position for it so uh we can use this one here all right yeah so i can make a copy of it rotate it into something like this and let's have this one here okay so that we can have you know some destructive elements it doesn't hurt okay we can increase this one um let's check it out check it out check it out I think I don't really like the position of this. Okay, so I'll leave this one here. All right, I'll leave this one just here like this. Then I save the work. With this, we are done on Pixel Lab. This is how you can design a birthday using Pixel Lab. But we are not done yet. Stay close to the channel watch the video to the end because now we are going to enhance the quality of the design using Snapseed which is also another awesome editing tool that I use for most if not all of my designs so stay with us 
as I take you now into big uh, into Snapseed for finishing touches. So here we are on Snapseed. I'm just going to let's say uh, let me take you back. Snapseed. So open. Click on this plus button. Okay, to open a new design. Click on plus button. Select your design, which is right here with us. Well, depending on the flyer you have at hand, the editing varies. So I must warn. Don't see the editing we are using here and try to apply the same editing on all your flyer designs. It will not work. Okay. But for this design, seeing I realize that it already has a lot of kind of smooth. The design is too smooth. What I'll be hoping to achieve is to make the design look a little bit sharper. So because of that, I will use first portrait to bring out that uh, um, a sharp parts of the design. All right, as you can see. So let me just undo it and you see. So this is the before. When you enable portrait, look at portrait, it's down here. When you enable it, you see the difference. So click on a check mark, go to tools, increase the structure, increase the sharpening. Now one thing again, as you increase them, be checking how it looks, okay? Don't just be increasing, be looking at the impact and weigh the options, weigh the options. So like for this one now, if you increase the structure to 100%, it becomes too saturated. So what do you do? Just step it down a bit and uh, check the sharpening. Uh, it's quite sharp, 100%, good. So click on check mark, go back to tools, and for brightness, the image or the design is already bright. So I'm going to step down the brightness a bit. Okay, step down the brightness a bit. Uh, for contrast, I will increase it. Okay, you can now see. Uh, now, saturation don't touch. For ambience as well, I will just play around with this and see how it looks. So I can reduce it also. Okay, reduce it also. So I think the contrast is too much. Let's check yeah so i can leave the contrast at nothing more than 45 then we can go now to highlights and check it out uh reduce the highlight all right to just plus five or plus three and the shadows same thing i think yeah for the shadows same thing okay then don't touch warmness all right now look at the before of this design and the after you can see that even the wall the background that we inserted it's giving just premium vibes just good vibes all right for the design so once you have this you can still go to another element which is uh, tonal uh, contrast and play around with the high tones and the mid tones all right so this one is not really much of any work and you can see that the background has now become a little bit rough, but awesome. And the design equally has blended with the background. So where well, the color combination is all on check, kind of golden and um, black uh, mixed up together to give us this very beautiful birthday fly design. And what you're going to do now is to export by saving, save your design. Okay, so we are done with our design this is the before and here we have the after so you can see everything uh, so also image quality very very good so yeah this is how you can design a birthday flyer using your pixel lab application how to design a birthday flyer on pixel lab with additional finishing touches using snapseed photo editing thank you so much for watching the video the resources will be added as usual on the description box below but kindly subscribe to the channel and stay with us for more awesome tutorials on with until we meet again stay blessed is dot graphics